Hi everybody, Kirk here with Space Pickle Designs. Today I have a haul from Sam's Bead Shop. So if you'd like to see what I got, then just keep on watching. First strand I wanna show you is this Mongolian Agate Smooth Nugget. And these are a 15 inch strand and these are large, 15 to 20 millimeters. And look at them. Just how cool are those? I love a big chunky nugget. And the, this color on these are so unique. It's definitely earthy, but it's also like, it almost gives like an opal milky vibe. Um, and so, yeah, I really, really loved these. Look at the natural inclusions on those. It's like a high polish, but still obviously it's a rock. So it's got inclusions. And I love this one, look at that guy. It's a really, really beautiful little strand here. Next strand is a Mother of Pearl Shell Round, unique multi-tone, eight and a half millimeters. And I really do love a good shell bead. Um, and when I saw that, that, like, look at the flash on that one. The flash on these combined with the, like, strange, um, the bluish tone, bluish green tone to these, I just thought those were really unique and I really needed those. I think this would be make a really, really nice stretch uh, bracelet for the summertime. Next is a Tiger Iron Specialty Cut Smooth Square Rectangle, and look at these. Look at the color, the banding, the colors, the shine. Like, it looks, I, I have to look what he, um, Tiger Iron is composed of, but it almost looks like there's some, like, hematite in there, um, just because of how, like, silver it polishes up. But don't quote me on that, I am not a bead uh, PhD, but look, I mean, this bead almost to me just looks fake. Just how cool that is. Next is a Tiger Eye Smooth Round Dark Mix, eight and uh, 8.3 millimeters. And I just love Tiger Eye so much. Um, I don't know what it is. I think it's like my basic, just I love flashy and sparkly things. And so Tiger Eye is definitely flashy. And then to have these unique color um, variations, like again, this one's like a little bit like gray toned. Some of these, I mean, I just could stare into these for hours, which I do <laughs> on occasion. So that's why it takes me so long to use these nice beads because I just like to look at them. But yeah, that's the dark tiger eye. Next up is a green appetite smooth round, grade A plus, nine to nine and a half millimeters, occasional dimpling in here. And just, just look at these. Look at the color, the shine, the depth. I feel like um, when I look into these beads, it just makes me feel like I'm looking into a terrarium. Just like each one is its own little world with moss and plants and I just, you know, you know me, I love the green color. So these were a must have for me. Just wait till the end. I'm gonna show you my absolute favorite beads. I'm saving those to the end, but spoiler alert, they are green. All right, next up is a really great strand of fairy labradorite smooth rounds in five millimeter with a very bright flash. And look at those. I feel like for some reason Labrador Labradorite beads in a round shape are almost always underwhelming to me and I think it's because I know like with the pendants and the ovals and the cabochons and all that like you get all this great flash but I feel like a lot of times the rounds miss out on that flash and I don't know if it's just because of the cut but these do not disappoint. These are what you will be seeing from a block away. These are just so stunning and it's so cool that they just come from the earth. I did get two packs of silver silk. This one right here is stunning. Are we seeing the color on that? This is a pipe chain and this is in Winter Wanderer on um, baby blue on dark blue. That's what I'm guessing. And that is stunning. I love that, especially with the winter months coming up. I think this was like last year's winter creation, but it's, I am 
so happy to have that. This one is a Moo Kite Memories Silver Silk Companion uh, custom pipe chain here. And if you know me, Moo Kite's one of my favorites as well. I, I think I say that about all gemstones at this point, but Moo Kite is in my top 10 for sure. And this is a copper over an orange. And I love the pipe chain. It's so versatile. All right, we got another cut of Labradorite here. Smooth uh, Hishi tube, 3.5 by 4 millimeter. It's like a grade B, but I just love the shape on these. And I still saw a, quite a bit of flash. It's not as bright, but I think with the shape and like the interest that it has. I'm really not a big fan of like the really like light gray, just like really low grade Labradorite, but if it has like these darker tones in it as well, I really do like these. And this was like a special buy. Um, I don't think it was $10 as it was listed here, <clears throat> but um, you know, going through some of the live sales, they will do some slashes. So got some of these, I'm excited to use these. Next, I got a couple of shapes of Dalmatian Jasper, and we've got some of the warmer tone Dalmatian Jasper and some cool tone as well as the star here. And I am thinking about like making another bead box. If you are a fan of the bead boxes, let me know down in the comments below. Let me know what type you'd like to see next. I really enjoy making them. Um, but for some reason, Dalmatian Jasper, again, it's in my top 10, probably my top five. I, I just think it's like so versatile and it brings a lot of visual interest to a piece. So I got quite a few of these pendants here um, and these were a special little buy as well. Next is a hematoid rose quartz heart, six millimeter, four to six beads per strand have shaping issues it looks like. Um, but I just thought these were so cute and delicate. Um, and I actually like the ones with the inclusions more than the more um, quote unquote higher grade ones. I really enjoy that mustardy type color. So I feel like when you take the pink string off of them, they are gonna look very earthy and uh, it's gonna be a little more versatile than um, what it looks like right now just because that neon cording going through it. But I like the shape um, and I just thought they were like nice little hearts without doing too much, you know? So I like them. When I saw these, I was like, Yes, give the these to me, please. These are matte black ocean jasper, smooth round, 12 millimeter. Oh, just, can we see? Can we just, are we seeing? They look like actual rocks, obviously they are, um, but just the matte, the variation, the subtle, like tan, neutral, gray, dark, like smoky gray color on these. It's just giving. It's giving. And there's some of these, like this one. Are we seeing this guy right here? It's got like, I'm looking close. It's like, it's not really a druzy, but it's kind of like that same thing. There's definitely like a hole within. And so I love these so much. I, I just want to wear these on a strand like Wilma or like um, the Flintstone wife. Is that her name? Wilma, I think. And I know she always had like pearls around her neck like that. And I was just, I thought these were so cute. I had to pick up this Miyuki round seed bead mix for Danielle's box. Um, I was so sad to see that the 8-0s were sold out, but I did get them in the 11 O's, And so I am going to be able to do some of those projects here. But that color mix is just so spectacular. And I do have a video coming up with her stuff from her shop, so be on the lookout for that. Um, and there, like this stuff right here, any beater can use this to add like a little flair to their designs. You do not have to be a bead weaver or a seed beater, quote unquote, to use these seed beads. And so I got those. I got a three pack of these fluorite puffed hearts. And look at my selection look at those the color is so beautiful let me get a little white background so you can kind of see that banding in there that's one got two here this is a darker one and then oh this one's a very very pretty very um purple heavy one and these are going to be used in some of my specialty bead strands this is going to be obviously the focal um, but 
keep a lookout for those bead strands. Um, I really enjoy making those, and I hope you guys like them too. Golden Obsidian Faceted Coin, five millimeters, and can we just look at these little checkerboards? Are they not just precious and perfect? And just using these just sparingly in a design is just like the flash from within coupled with the really, really crisp faceting and such a small bead, it's just gonna elevate your piece to that next level. And like this one strand could last you for such a while, especially if you're just gonna use it as like a little accent bead. Like, come on, look at those. Like, are we seeing how beautiful these little guys are? These are also very, very special strand. Um, they're a little bit pricier, okay, um, but 6.5 millimeters and just the flash on these. Again, these are beads that you don't just use like back to back to back to back to back, right? So like these are just those special beads that you use throughout to provide that interest. And I mean, they feel so great, so amazing. The flash is amazing. It's along that like tiger eye kind of thing for me. Um, but yeah, these are just give it, I feel like these look better than tiger eye in a way. They're just, I don't know, there's something about them. They're like more smooth and glittery than a tiger eye. I got a set of Artistic Jasper Marquee Pendants and there's three mixed pieces here and this is what I got. Gasp, right, right? Like even this one, look at the little, his little butt here. He's got a little striped little butt. Um, I really like this side. Um, this one is just amazing. It's almost a horizontal line there that goes throughout the entire Marquee Pendant. That's really just special. And then these, I think I like, I can't tell which side I like better. Probably this one because there's more contrast here. But they all look just so pretty. I just can't believe like the earth produces such things. All right, last up before my specialty strands here is a tiger eye gem cut coin. It's about a 12 millimeter. And who doesn't like tiger eye? I just like, is there somebody that's just like, man, tiger eye is just not my thing. Don't be afraid to say it. Just just let me know in the comments. It's like tiger eye, just not something you reach for or that you like. And just let me know why. Like what, what gemstone do you prefer over tiger eye? It's just so beautiful. The flash on this one is insane as well as the cut. Um, I mean, look at this striped one right here. These are just chef's kiss. All right, my first specialty strand here is a green Vaseline glass trade bead. And these are seven to 10 by 15 to 16 millimeters. And here they are, and it's a full strand. These are very expensive beads, but when I saw that there was some availability here and that it was in my favorite color, of course, I thought what better than to start my first official African glass collection off with some of the best here in this Vaseline uh, glass shape and just the earthiness um, of these beads are just, I love these so much. And it would be really, really hard for me to cut into the strand, but you know, you have to do it. I'm, I'm gonna start a series that's gonna be called like Fancy Bead, Fancy Bead Monday or something where we like, or Fancy Bead Friday or something where we have to use our fancy beads because we get them and then we just look at them. And so it's good to look at them for a little bit, but then we need to like eventually start using them, right? So here they are. Okay, so are you guys ready for my specialty strands? Okay, so I've been eyeing these for a long, long time and I didn't want to get them because they are pricey and it's like, when you see them, it's like, I don't know what to do with them. I just want to keep them and hold them and pet them. And so this year I got um, a pretty big award and I was um, selected as instructor of the year. So I was like, yo, let me treat myself. <laughs> so here they are. I'm sure you could guess, but they are real Malachite in a 10 
millimeter and an eight millimeter. And so I'll look at, I'll let you see the 10 millimeter first. And just the color, the banding, the smoothness, the glassiness, the shine, the feel, the weight is just, it's just next level. Um, these were a pricier strand, um, but when I held them, I was like, okay, it feels worth it. Like I hadn't been able to hold like real malachite in my hand um, too much, maybe once or twice. And so to have these, uh, both of these strands, this is the eight millimeter. These are a little bit lighter. The, the banding patterns are lighter. Um, there's less dark, um, dark bands throughout. And so I'll hold them together here. And I really think that I do need to make just a stretch bracelet with one or the other because just so I can just look at it and I know you're like what's like a stretch bracelet for these beautiful beads yes I know but it's like it's just something that I get to look at every single day and they're just really really special all right so last up I did win a checkout prize um because I shot the live sale and I actually have a strand of these and because this strand, this is a Labradorite strand, um, was broken. It had a cracked bead in there. Like they had to sell this strand or they just had to use this strand as a giveaway. And I mean, look at all the other ones that we can use. <laughs> like this strand is insane. Like, do you see the, do, do, do you see it? The blue flash, oh, the blue flash on that. I just, what is happening? Like how, how? How can we just get this in a, a giveaway prize? That's crazy. Um, but you know, that's that's what happens when you, you shop small. They really try to take care of their customers. And um, you know, my shop tries to do the same thing. So thank you, Sam's Bead Shop, for this wonderful little checkout prize. Last but not least, since my order was a little over the top, what can we say? <laughs> Um, I got a good seven. Seven is a good number. I think seven is my favorite number. So I don't know how they knew that, but we got seven dinner mints here and I am about to eat them as soon as I get off camera. All right. So thank you for um, hanging in there and watching my haul. Let me know in the comments, which was your favorite bead out of this mix? Because like I have so many good ones that I'm like, I don't even know where to start. So I'm going to need your help. So I hope everybody is having a good week and you've made it to the end of the week. Hopefully um, the people in Florida are, that are getting back to Florida now, hopefully come to a, a house or a home that is not as damaged as maybe you thought. And so all hopes for that. Um, and so, yeah, let me know down in the comments how you're doing, what your favorite bead was, and I will talk to you soon. I hope you're staying safe and well, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.